Right, here we go. What's up guys? Jeremy here. I want to do a super quick three minutes on the clock. We're gonna see if I can actually keep it under three minutes today. Movie review, super quick movie review on the 355. So I had a backlog of movies that I went to see recently and I finished most of those for last year. Uh, the one movie I went to see in January was the 355. So I'd love to know what your thoughts are about this, first of all. And digging into it, <clears throat> the reviews, going into this movie, I was so surprised that so many people, <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what it is, but so many people seemed tripped up that uh, this wasn't just like a strong woman in the role. Like with Jessica Chastain, she's been in several movies taking the role. Uh, like Ava, I remember checking out Ava, that movie. But this is not just her, this is a team of people. The, these strong women in this leading role of this kind of spy action movie, or so it seemed from the trailer. It looked like it was super action from the trailer. Uh, you go read the reviews and it's kind of like mixed reviews. I was just kind of surprised though how many people were uh, bothered by like a strong woman in the, in the lead role. And I'm thinking, gosh, like what's the deal? Like, you know, dudes, this could be a good uh, checkpoint or a, a check, check yourself kind of moment of, you know, if if a woman steps up to the plate and is able to do this, like, there's a lot of action movies and stars that are on their way out. Like, how many more action movies is Arnold going to make? I hope he keeps making them. But what I'm saying is, like, there's room for men to do these movies and continue to do those and, and make new ones and for women to do that. And if a guy is looking at this, specifically guys are looking at this and they're, like, intimidated or they have some kind of problem with their self-image or their self-esteem because a woman is stepping up to to do some kind of action movie, uh, that might be a moment to just like check yourself and say, okay, like, you know, what does this really mean to me? Because it really, to me, it doesn't matter. I'd love it. I'd love seeing some of these like super strong women characters going in and like taking names and taking charge of the situation. Now, um, the story or the plot is where it kind of got to me, where about halfway through the movie, I noticed that I never pull out my, my phone in the movies because I'm there to see the movie. I noticed I pulled my phone out and I'm like looking at something for like five minutes. I never do that. And I was like, gosh, why was I doing that? And it's because I remember being in the movie and just thinking like, are they going to, you know, I thought they were on this mission to do this thing. And then this kind of love uh, conflict is coming up. And I'm like, my gosh, would you guys just get to the end of the mission and finish this? Which... Some of these movies I've seen recently, they're two, two and a half, three hours. It's just like, my gosh, you know, it could have been trimmed shorter. Like, am I going to talk about this movie for 30 minutes or three? You know what I mean? So that's really what, what got to me. But I thought the, the actresses, they did a great job in their role. I love seeing, like, a strong woman or strong women taking charge. I did a movie review recently of The Matrix. It makes me think of Trinity. Like, she is an awesome example of a strong woman that's doing this. Uh, what was the other one I thought of? Gal Gadot in Wonder Woman. Seeing her training to get ready for that role, just, oh my gosh. Alicia Vikander that was in the Tomb Raider remake. That was such an awesome movie. And just, I love that kind of Indiana Jones and Explorer. Um, I'm going to go see Uncharted soon. You know, that kind of thing with Alicia Vikander. Seeing her training for that role just as a strong woman. Like, I loved that movie so much and her work that she did in that in Tomb Raider that, you know, I just love that kind of thing. Now, I think they're married, <laughs> so, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to look at them like that, but it's like, I, I think about what kind of woman would I like to have in my life? Proverbs 31 woman, straight up, absolutely, that's the first and foremost, and then someone that is a strong, leading kind of woman that, uh, you know, could be a queen with a king under his kingship to go out and expand the kingdom and to just, you know, have that kind of partner and that kind of uh, person really a king and queen are there to go to war. So that's what I think is that I love it. And I'd love to see more of this kind of thing inspire women. Yet to bring it back to the public service announcement of keeping God or Christ on the list, the woman of the Bible that I wanted to share that had the most, I thought about this for a few days and had the most times coming back up in my mind is like, well, you know, what do I share? And it's probably one you've never heard of. It's the book of Judith, actually, in the Apocrypha. So it's not in the Bible, normally. I've got it in my Jerusalem Bible translation with all the other Apocrypha books. 
But this story of Judith is such a crusher story of a woman that is such a strong woman of the Lord. Like, wow, that's so attractive to me, I think. You know, not just seeing a strong woman, but a strong woman of the Lord. And so this book of Judith is such a crusher story because it's another strong woman that went out there and was able to accomplish the mission. So, guys, don't let that bother you that there's strong women out there. Maybe it's time for you to level up. That's kind of my message today. And uh, I thought the movie was good. Um, not too crazy about going back and seeing it again, but I, I could. Um, it's not exactly as action-packed as the trailer made it out to be. It seems like the action was kind of few and far between. Um, but I did enjoy it, and I'm glad I got to go see it. So let me know what your thoughts are. I've got a snack waiting that I've got to get to, and I'll see you on the next one. Let's see. How close to three minutes? Five minutes.